Have you ever wanted to simply drop your raw resources off and come back a bit later to a bin full of cooked resources? Well, you're in luck. Today, we are going to quickly cover the automation of your furnaces. The name's Sledge, and I'm gonna help you improve your base's efficiency. You will need two storage bins, two industrial conveyors, two storage adapters for your bins, and an equal amount of furnaces and storage adapters that you want placed. The cool thing about conveyors and furnaces is the pass-through of items without the necessary need for multiple conveyors. Although you can set up a conveyor per furnace, you can also just use one conveyor as sampled in this video. Simply place a box with an adapter and then a conveyor to the wall. Then as many furnaces with storage adapters on them as you need. I'm using three for this video. Please note this does max out at 32 furnaces. The 33rd furnace and beyond will not receive conveyor items. Connect box one to the conveyor placed. Then connect the conveyor to the first furnace. Then the first furnace to the second furnace and so on until your final furnace. Then place one conveyor, a second storage bin and adapter at the end of your furnace line and connect the last furnace to the conveyor and then into the storage bin. Power on both conveyors, turn on your furnaces and watch the magic happen. Now, raw resources placed in bin one will be pulled into the furnaces, cooked and delivered into the second bin. Now, here are a few advanced methods in summary. Consider filtering sulfur and metal ore to a max at 1,000 each. This way, each furnace will have one slot for metal and the other for sulfur if you have limited furnaces. Be sure to also filter wood with no maximum, otherwise nothing will cook. Just be sure to consider this has limitations and would exclude high quality metal for this scenario. Another idea is using electric furnaces over the standard furnaces. This would require no wood, but would need power. It also removes the creation of charcoal. Overall, I think electric furnaces just look more organized and aesthetically pleasing. If you want to simplify the process even further, you can also simply place another storage adapter down on box one and route the final conveyor to this adapter if you'd like for your cooked resources to return to the original raw resource box. This is handy for tight bases. I hope this short and simple video was helpful and can be used in your base efficiency in the future. Feel free to subscribe if you like what we covered today. Check out my other tutorials, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.